It is the Council's opinion that Padawan Ahsoka Tano has committed sedition against the Republic, and thus she will be expelled from the Jedi Order. Mace Windu, pronouncing the Council's decision to expel Ahsoka Tano following the a terrorist explosion in a hangar of the Jedi Temple, the Council recalled Skywalker and his apprentice to Coruscant. After briefing the two Jedi on the situation, Windu and Yoda assigned them to oversee the Jedi Order's internal investigation. In addition, they suspected that the attack was caused by a rogue Jedi. As neither Skywalker or Tano were present at the time of the bombing, Windu and the Grand Master considered them above suspicion and therefore suited to the task. During the investigation, Skywalker and Tano reported directly to Windu, who informed them that a swift conclusion to the case was imperative as rumors began to circulate within the Senate that the military police could become involved. With the arrest of Letter Termond, Windu and Yoda concluded that the radical Coruscant T was the main culprit in the bombing of the temple hangar. While there was no indication at the time of a Jedi's involvement, the incident served to fuel anti-Jedi sentiment among the Republic citizenry, an outcome that concerned Windu. In the aftermath of Termin's arrest, Windu attended a funeral ceremony to honor the six Jedi Knights who were killed in the hangar blast. Shortly thereafter, Skywalker's Padawan came under suspicion of being the true mastermind behind the bombing after Termond was force choked to death in her presence. Admiral Wilhuff Tarkin contacted the Council and claimed that Tano had not only murdered Termond, but also several clone troopers during her escape from the Republic Center for Military Operations. The Council endeavored to apprehend the fugitive Padawan, although Windu was concerned by Yoda's decision to send Skywalker after his own apprentice believing that his emotional connection to Tano would complicate the mission. The hunt for Tano led to her capture and subsequent confinement in the Jedi Temple. As the Council debated on what to do with her, Tarkin contacted them on the Senate's behalf, imploring the Jedi leadership to expel Tano and surrender her to military custody. Windu was troubled by the Council's options in the matter, to either stand by Tano, as Kenobi insisted, or remove her from the ranks of the Order as the Senate commanded. Ultimately, Windu concurred with Tarkin on the grounds that failing to submit Tano for trial could be regarded as an act of opposition to the Senate. At Yoda's behest, the young Padawan was taken to the Chamber of Judgment, where five members of the Council, including Windu, reviewed the charges against her and asked for her plea. Tano pleaded innocent and insisted that the Council was being deceived, but as she was unable to confirm the identity of the true perpetrator, Windu announced the Council's decision to revoke Tano's Jedi status and hand her over to the military custody of the Republic. After the expulsion was completed, Windu attended Tano's military trial alongside several other members of the Council. Before the verdict could be read, however, Skywalker burst in and revealed the real traitor, Barris Offee, who confessed to the crimes that Tano had been accused of and scathingly claimed that the Jedi were the ones responsible for the Clone War. Due to this revelation, Windu and the Council attempted to make amends with Tano. In addition to a personal apology from Skywalker, Plo Koon informed Tano that she had the Council's most humble apologies. Seize 18, Mundi, and Windu all observed Tano's ordeal as a great trial in her training, and stated that she had become a greater Jedi than she would have been otherwise. But while Windu and his colleagues were prepared to accept her back into the Order with a promotion to the rank of Jedi Knight, but Tano feels betrayed and refused the offer and instead chose to leave the temple to search for a new path. 